So once again I want to show three games that I have played in the recent two weeks and just tell you stuff about them incoherently. So this one is... Cool boy. Before you are saying, oh look it's another one of these we didn't have these before. <laughs> okay, chill. I know we had a lot of these games in the past years. Billions, trillions of retro games that emulate the NES feeling, but this one is absolutely no exception. This is your run-of-the-mill NES retro platformer. The story goes that the country of Gunzabar <laughs> Wunderbar! is ruled by some goblin king and that there's a prophecy that some dude will come and end his life. So he imprisons the guy that is well known for killing ghouls and goblins really well and thinks, oh yeah, that's it, uh, prophecy avoided. What he did not know is that the bloke he imprisoned has a son, which people call Ghoul Boy, who is after the Goblin King and his papa. Generic story aside, this game does not much wrong. It's pretty straightforward. Start at point A, go to point B, do this 26 times, defeat bosses, et voila, you are finished. And I mean, properly finished, achievements and all. The only more advanced technique is throwing your spear at a wall and climbing up on it. But sometimes the spear gets stuck in a way that you can't use it to climb because it is shoved too deep in. And there is definitely a your mother joke to make in all of this. Other than that, there is this skeleton guy stirring his soup all day and selling you hearts and weapons. I don't know, I don't trust this guy at all. What do you want to do with all that soup, skeleton man? You don't have intestines. Soup is useless to you. Who are you cooking for? The orphans? Oh wait, are these the orphans? I'm on to you, skeleton. We will see you in court. I mean, how could I trust this guy? He doesn't even tell you that there's another shop. Yeah, I realized that after playing half of the game. It's there in the main menu. It sells the upgrades and the best weapon in the game. Why can't the skeleton man sell those upgrades? I tell you why, because he's a dick. My only other major complaint is that the final boss is way too easy. Here, I'll show you the full fight. You jump over him, uh, twice, three times, and you know when he stops, just wail on him until he dies. Yeah, hit that motherfucker. And, well, Yeah, that's the whole fight. You win. Woohoo. Not that death is in any way important, because the worst that happens is that you have to restart the level. And sometimes you need to make a few leaps of faith, uh, because you can't get the camera to show everything below you. But other than that, I have no real complaints. It is a solid game. This is one of those games you get in a bundle, or because you saw it for cheap on Steam, played for 3 hours because you had the platform age, and you're drunk at 3am and playing some retro game sounds an awful lot better than just killing yourself. Just don't trust the skeleton man. Next game. This one is... Forbidden Clicker Party. I won't say anything about this game, just watch me playing it. I'm not controlling that guy. He does all that by himself. But this will probably be more exciting in later stages of the game. Or does it? No, it doesn't. Welcome to the exciting world of idle games, where you do nothing. And this one is an especially weird one, 
we do even less than in other idle games. I played this game literally for 26 hours now according to Steam and I have barely looked at it. Yes, you can buy upgrades and promotions and all that gizmo, but you tend to do that once in a while. And a while is a pretty long time here. There is multiple characters and upgrades, but you never do anything here other than to activate some abilities when my so-called dudes are stuck at the boss. And then I can minimize the window again and watch some porn. I mean, I really like the aesthetic here with the 1930s cartoon style, but that's it. There is no game here. And there is a reason most idle games are free. This one costs three dollars. Three dollars. Okay, that's not much, but no, I wouldn't recommend this game at all. Because you have already seen everything it has to offer. Next game. This next one is... Destiny 2! This is of course a well-known game, but as I played it in the recent two weeks, I just want to give my quick opinion on it. I got this game from the Humble Bundle Monthly Early Unlock, and I'm a sucker for first-person shooters, because this is probably the genre I'm best in. I also like shooters with leveling up mechanics, so this was of course exactly up my alley. I have not played Destiny 1, so I can't comment on the changes and deep lore that happened, but given that the lore of the second game is as deep as a puddle, I don't think I missed that much. It all boils down to evil warfaring space lizards come to Earth and you have to defeat them. But unlike other people, you have superpowers and are now using it to... Wait, isn't this the plot of Saints Row 4? Never mind. Then there's the Traveler, a seemingly godlike white moon who no one knows shit about and... You know what? Who cares? I just want to shoot evil aliens in the face, get my loot and try to look cool doing it. And boy does it work well. Mechanical wise the game feels fantastic. Bit console of course, but shooting things feels so... Damn satisfying. Fear me hordes of enemies with seemingly huge hitboxes, for the taker of hats is upon ye. I played through the game as the striker class, which is the punch class. Normal enemy, punch it. Strong enemy, punch it. Boss enemy, punch. I will throw you in the punch dimension. <laughs> Sorry. And I played through the whole campaign now and started the expansions. Yes, I have bought those. I am weak. I know. It is a bit repetitive. Most missions and side missions basically involve going to a point, shoot everything that dares oppose you and then grab something or use a console or whatever. But besides the campaign missions and the side missions, there are also strikes, raids, PvP missions and so on. It all boils down to getting better loot. I can imagine that when you are decked out the way you want to, you either have to create a new character and start from the beginning, or you're fucked. Because the new loot you would get really doesn't give you anything. But right now I really enjoy the game. And for the 12 euro I paid, I can't really complain. And with those uh, 12 euro, given that is humble bundle monthly, I get a bunch of other games too. So yeah, yay me. So yeah, these were three games I played recently. Uh, I try to do that more often. But till then, have a very nice day. Mwah.